What an extraordinary end to the game. It was. Um, the only thing for us, we showed immense character to, to come back. Um, but we're very fortunate QPR deserved something from the game. We were just nowhere near it in terms of performance level. Better second half. Um, and I, again, I applaud the players for the character because right to the end, even though we conceded a poor goal, you know, the two goals that we did concede, um, defensively we, we kept penetrating and, and kept looking to, to score and get back in it. And uh, as I said, it was an incredible final sort of 10 minutes really. So, uh, but for us, we'll take the three points. We'll take the, the character that the team showed, but the performance was too slow and there's no speed and no, the, the, the circulation of the ball was, was nowhere near the level that I would expect. Passing accuracy for a Liverpool side, you know, Brendan Rodgers' team wasn't up to what it should be. No, nowhere near it. Nowhere near it. Movement, static, front of the ball, you know, the ability to, to dominate the game. And in all fairness, Harry set up his team really well. Uh, they've gone 4 4 2, but a 4 3 3 and a 4 2 3 1 should play through that much better than we did today. And, and as I said, that. that no, what probably disappoints me more than anything. You moved Stephen Gerrard into a, a deeper role, didn't you, in the second half? Why was that? Stephen's been a real influential player for us in the last, you know, 18 months. Um, the dynamic in our team was about the mobility and the movement and the top of the field. And obviously with Suarez and Sturridge um, and then Raheem Sterling, he could pick those passes from deeper and he was our playmaker from behind. So we've lost that. We've lost nearly 80% of the goals that we scored last season which is a huge number so the dynamic in the team has changed and uh, I felt that see we could get him into that number 10 role and be the playmaker from further up the field where we would have to circulate and build and combine a little bit more but we couldn't get the ball into him we didn't we weren't quick enough in our movement and our passing to get him in the areas where he can hurt people um, so we flipped the second half and and, and he obviously had a, a greater influence which allows us to to get our game plan Little Raheem came alive, didn't he, in the last 15 minutes. Now, Brendan, he was booed. Um, I'd like to think it was because the QPR fans didn't think it was a free kick. First of all, your view on whether it was a free kick or not. But I would hate to think he was booed because of what happened last week. Well, I would as well, because the, the kid, first of all, he loved QPR in his time here. He decided to leave. He was very courageous, moved up north and came to Liverpool. And, and I think his development since he's been at Liverpool has, has been fantastic. He's gone on to become a full international player and, uh, and a player who's obviously, you know, from, from London, who loves QPR, uh, is obviously playing for Liverpool and is doing everything he can. And obviously he wants to play for England. So, uh, but you see today it didn't affect him. He was very brave and courageous and his speed and penetration is so important for us. So, uh, but listen, good players, that's what happens. Good players get booed, you know, and... Uh, and this may be something that he might get from time to time, but uh, but hopefully it wouldn't be because of what happened with England, because that was absolutely nothing to do with him. No doubt about the free kick. It was actually clever thinking by Glenn Johnson, I think, who, who, who said to him, "Get it, get it to me early, so they could get the cross in for the first own goal." Yeah, we, we encourage the players. Uh, you know, I think the good players come alive when the ball goes dead, and uh, obviously they were getting set up for the free kick. Raheem spotted it, played it early. Glenn's on the run. Uh, crossed and obviously, unfortunately for QPR, it was an own goal. So, and it's nice as a coach, you like to see that because I think the best players are bright in those situations when the ball goes out for throw-in. Other players are looking for a rest. The bright players come alive. They look to get the game going early, and and that's what Glenn and uh, Raheem did. Finally, massive week for you, Real Madrid. Yes. Yeah. Now that the game's over today, we've got the three points without playing great. We're we're making steady but slow progress this season. But uh, when I look forward to, we earned the right to be in this competition last year with our performances, and now we we play the the current champions of it, and uh, it should be a great night at Anfield.